Greetings, Grand Adventurers. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this episode, we are bringing our American Heartland Tour 2020 to the area around beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin. We're here to visit the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore on Lake Superior. So stay tuned. So for our time on the Bayfield Peninsula, we are staying in the beautiful Memorial Park Campground in nearby Washburn. This is a town operated campground right on the shores of Lake Superior. Beautiful sites, beautiful views. These are electric only sites, although they do have water hydrants scattered throughout the park and there is a free dump station available right on site. Sites here cost $27 per night. It's the lure of kayaking into the sea caves of the Apostle Islands that drew us to this most northern point of Wisconsin. But it's imperative that we wait for the right weather and marine conditions to embark upon that voyage. Our campground is sheltered from the northerly winds, not so for the sea caves. 
So while we wait for those winds to abate, we're going to take some time exploring the beautiful Bayfield Peninsula. There's not a lot available in Washburn. One IGA grocery, a couple of coffee shops, and a marina. Just a few miles south in Ashland, there's a full retail assortment for RV travelers, including a Walmart. But 12 miles north of Washburn sits Bayfield, a positively perfect lakeside community that reminds us for all the world of the New England coastline. Despite a population of less than 500, there are many restaurants, hotels, bed and breakfasts, specialty shops, and marine services to cater to visitors. Bayfield was named in 1856 for Henry Bayfield, a British royal topographic engineer who explored the region in 1822 to 23. Bayfield is the main gateway to the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore, a group of 21 islands in Lake Superior. North of Bayfield, we enter the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore at Little Sand Bay. The town of Russell offers a 47-site campground here, immediately adjacent to the National Lakeshore. Cornucopia sits on the Lake Superior shoreline on the northern shoreline of the Bayfield Peninsula. Its population is now under 100. Commercial fishing for lake trout, whitefish, and freshwater herring was traditionally operated out of Cornucopia's harbor.
While we wait for favorable weather to kayak to the sea caves, we're going to visit Madeline Island, the largest of the Apostle Islands, the only one with roads, and the only one not within the National Lakeshore. To get to Madeline Island, we're boarding a ferry in Bayfield to travel to La Pointe at the island's western end. The ferry runs until the ice becomes too thick in winter, usually by mid-January. When the ice becomes thick enough to support vehicles, an ice road to the island becomes an extension of County Road H, marked by Christmas trees placed on the ice. La Pointe was established in 1693 by French colonists as a fur trading post and was one of the earliest European settlements in the area. Over the years, the town has flown the flags of three different nations, France, Great Britain, and of course the United States. After the decline of the fur trade industry, other industries developed in the region, including logging, commercial fishing, and brownstone quarrying. Since the mid-20th century, the primary industry has been tourism. Madeline Island is 14 miles long and 3 miles wide, with town and state park campgrounds near the eastern end at Big Bay, site of the longest beach on the island.
Finally, the weather is perfect. It's important to pick the right day to kayak to the mainland sea caves of the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. When northerly or northwesterly winds blow, the sea caves are exposed to the full fetch of Lake Superior and waves can grow to 6 to 12 feet in height, further amplified by rebound waves off the cliff walls. There are a couple of experienced sea kayakers who in recent years never returned after underestimating the conditions. The National Park Service also provides ample warnings about the dangers of the sea caves and a ranger checks each arrival's equipment at the Myers Beach kayak launch. This is not a place for canoes or recreational or sit on top kayaks. With few places to beach a boat among the sea caves, it's also important to know how to self rescue. That said, we're facing little danger today in the calm, crystal clear waters of Lake Superior Beckon. It's a little over a mile of paddling from Myers Beach to where the sea caves start at first point, and they extend beyond for a couple of miles further along the shoreline. The Apostle Islands are a result of glaciers that once covered North America. When the glaciers melted and formed Lake Superior, waves caused erosion that formed the islands. Under legislation authored by U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson and signed into law by President Richard Nixon, the National Lakeshore was established in 1972. In addition to the 21 islands, the National Lakeshore includes this 12-mile strip of mainland shoreline, including Little Sam Bay. Camping is offered on 18 of the 21 islands, but you need a boat to get there. This is one of the most sought-after destinations for sea kayaking. There are a few others on the water today, mostly groups of commercially guided kayakers. There are a few small private parties of two, three, or four kayakers out as well. I haven't seen any other solo boaters like myself. Paddling solo, I didn't think that it was prudent to try to make an open water crossing to one of the islands in the Apostle Islands chain. So I'm happy that these intriguing mainland sea caves are here to explore in relative safety.
Now noon and past the sea caves, I'm going to find a spot to beach the boat for a bit to have a bite for lunch before heading back. Hey, when in Rome, That was a great lunch, thanks to Patricia. Now that I'm feeling all nourished, it's time to head back through the caves in the other direction. So that turned out to be a very worthy way to spend the day. That was one of the more unique paddles I've ever been on. Uh, it was about seven and a half or eight miles round trip. Uh, and with the conditions we had today, it couldn't have been any easier. I mean, the water, the wind, the waves, everything was absolutely perfect. For those who lack the proper equipment or experience to kayak the sea caves on their own, a number of outfitters offer guided trips, including Lost Creek Adventures and nearby Cornucopia. Trips start at a reasonable $60 per person for a half day, including kayaks, safety equipment, and guiding service. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed visiting the area around the Bayfield Peninsula and the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore with us. This place deserves to be on any RV travelers and kayakers bucket list of destinations in the upper Midwest. If you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. Now, also down below, you'll find the comment section. That's where we'd love to hear from you after each and every episode of Grand Adventure that we premiere every Wednesday evening. So if you are not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. And we would be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. Coming up next week, our American Heartland Tour 2020 is going to be heading westward into the state of Minnesota. So we would love to see you next week. And until then, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.